everybody, it's Mary and Sean, and we are from Vindulge, and today we are going to talk about one of the holy grails of barbecue. We're talking about brisket. We're going to cover everything you need to know about brisket, starting with how to select a brisket, how to trim a brisket, how to season it, how to smoke it, how and when to wrap that brisket, and then the important step of letting it rest. Oh yes. And then we are going to carve it up into those perfect slices. And then we're going to eat it. And then we're going to eat it. All right, you ready to get started? I'm ready. Let's do this. Today we are starting with Snake River Farms Wagyu brisket. We love working with these guys. Uh, and when you're selecting a brisket, you want to start with looking at how pliable it is. So a lot of times when you're getting a brisket, they may be previously frozen. So the big thing is to make sure it kind of moves around a little bit and it's not overly stiff because that's really important. The next thing is this end, the thinner end, should still have a little bit of thickness to it. Make sure it's not too thin, otherwise you're going to have to trim that up. There's two parts to a brisket. So this is a pack of brisket consisting of those two parts. The first is the point, which is kind of tucked under here in the fat, and the second is the flat. So if we flip this over, this is the flat. So it's separated by a deep pocket of interconnected fat right here. What we're going to be doing when we cook this is cooking the whole thing together, but in order to get it started, we have to trim a whole lot of this stuff off. Trimming is important to remove fat that won't render out during the cook and to expose the right amount of the meat for the rub. This also makes sure when you eat the brisket, you avoid any texture issues with rubbery fat. Start with the flat, decide without the fat cap. We're removing all the silver skin and the fat that is just hanging there. Along the sides, we trim off excess fat and generally we'll cut about a quarter of an inch off the sides. This exposes the meat and removes some of the harder fat that can be along both sides of the brisket. Along one of the sides is a very large part of the fat layer that separates the flat from the point. We remove a fair amount of this as it is solid fat. We cut into the fat pocket so that you're almost cutting under the point. We're going to remove more of the side fat, especially if it's hanging over. Along the fat cap, we are slowly cutting away the fat so we leave a quarter inch of the fat layer right over the top of the meat. If we left too much of the fat cap, it doesn't render out during the cook and we'll have a rubbery, unpleasant texture after cooking. So leaving about a quarter inch allows for a nice bite and flavor without too big of a layer of fat. Don't be alarmed. You may trim off up to four pounds of fat to expose that beautiful meat for seasoning. Before we season, we start with a layer of liquid that allows the dry rub to adhere to the meat. We're using about a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. You can use beef broth or any liquid that you enjoy. After adding the olive oil, it's time to add the dry rub. We keep it very simple with equal parts kosher salt, coarse ground pepper, and granulated garlic. We want to taste the beef and just add a touch of the flavor to the crust, but use your favorite beef rub if you would like to. We make sure we liberally season the meat and all the sides are seasoned as well. You can do this the day before or just before you put it on the smoker. Get in there liberally. Get all the sides, pat it down. This flavor is awesome. So you just, when in doubt, go over the top. We're cooking at 250 degrees Fahrenheit using apple wood. We like fruit wood as it burns sweet and easily available to us locally. Insert your remote meat probe into the flat side of the brisket. Be sure the probe is not inserted into the fat layer because the fat heats up faster than the meat. We're going to close the smoker and smoke for roughly five hours. At 165 degrees, we are going to remove the meat thermometer and wrap the brisket. To 
do this, we wrap the brisket in butcher paper. Butcher paper is great because it continues to breathe slightly versus foil, which completely seals the meat when wrapped. So we lay out two pieces of the butcher paper, place the brisket onto the paper, and then tightly wrap it. We place the brisket back onto the smoker, insert the meat probe again, and we'll continue smoking for another four hours or until it reaches the finishing temperature of around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. We know our brisket is done when we insert our instant read thermometer and it enters the brisket as if it's like room temperature butter. Every brisket's gonna cook slightly differently. It may be done at 195 or as high as 212. The key is probing the flat and the point in a few places to be sure the probe inserts easily like butter. If it doesn't, Keep on smoking and check every 15 minutes. When the brisket is done, you need to let it rest, wrapped, at least 30 minutes prior to slicing. Using a long slicer knife, we start by cutting the brisket in half where the point ends near the top of the flat. Then, we slice the flat into pencil width slices. The final step is cutting the point and the flat end in half and slicing that. Then we serve. The brisket should be slightly pliable, tender, pull apart with a gentle tug, Serve with your favorite pickled items. You know you're gonna want to sneak a bite right there. Oh yeah, you burned it. All right, this thing has rested about an hour. And we sliced it up. Sliced it up. It's looking good. Let's go give it a. Let's give it a taste. Well, I'm gonna taste this first. Oh. Mm. Mm hmm. Why, thank you. Yum. Mm, 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 wow. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. Mm, super tender. Really simple seasoning with salt, pepper, and garlic. The meat speaks for itself. It's so yeah. good. That's it. Mm. Remember, no two briskets are the same. And so if you follow the steps, it'll come out perfect every time. Mm. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about it. Oh yeah. And if you want to know what wine we like to pair with brisket, just head to the recipe on indulge.com. And cut. Did I do good? Very good. Did mom do good? Both of you very good. That's what I'm talking about.